The MAS-90 and MAS-200 Build Materials module allows you to easily create and maintain a detailed bill of components and miscellaneous charges that make up your finished items and sub-assembly components. You can produce accurate and informative reports detailing bill structures, component requirements, and production history. The integration with sales order, work order, and MRP formulates a robust solution for light manufacturers and many other businesses that have advanced kitting and assembly requirements. At the heart of the module is a bill of materials maintenance, which facilitates the creation and maintenance of all bills. Information for each bill is divided into two parts, the header information and the component line items. As you enter bill information, inventory information is retrieved from the inventory master file to speed up the data entry process. Easy to use options are readily available that allow you to display item information for the current bill number, copy information from an existing bill, define configuration options for the base bill, establish option interactions, and assign work order routings to the bill. You can add new inventory items from the build materials maintenance when entering a new bill. So for example, I'll type in a new bill name, ABC new. By tabbing off, it automatically prompts me for the bill type. I'll go ahead and select new inventory item. It brings up the item maintenance window. And I'll go ahead and expedite it. I'll select an existing item. And I'll go ahead and accept from there. It automatically saves that item to inventory and brings me back to the build materials maintenance. This ability to add items on the fly allows you to complete the build materials maintenance process in an efficient manner. As noted earlier, you can copy existing bill information to create new bills. This saves time when you create a new bill by eliminating the need to enter every component. So from this window, I'll go ahead and select one of the existing bills. Click OK. And it automatically explodes that bill into this new bill by adding all the components from that previous one. You can simultaneously maintain multiple versions of a single bill. The bill revisions feature allows you to manufacture products using a bill's current revision while a new revision is being developed. You can also maintain old revisions for service and repair purposes. There are multiple bill types supported, most notably the standard and kit bill types. Sales kits are inventory items that are grouped together for the sale as a unit. Unlike standard assembly items, which are assembled and stocked in advance, Sales kits are assembled or grouped at the time of the sale. A kit bill allows the system to identify a group of parts using a single item number. The engineering bill type is primarily used for prototype bills that may ultimately become a standard or kit type. Moving over to line item entry, each component item, comment, or miscellaneous code added to the base bill is entered on the Build Materials Maintenance Lines tab. If the work order module is integrated with the Build Materials, the step number of a routing can be specified for each item. Engineering change control feature is used. The appropriate addition and delete dates for the current item are retrieved. You can also reference other builds within this build. One build can contain up to 99 levels. Scrap represents the percentages that are built into the build's structure to accurately forecast the production of finished goods and the quantities of components necessary to produce them. You can replace all occurrences of an obsolete component with a new component without having to individually modify all the bills affected. Before actually updating the affected bills, you can print an audit trail of these changes. So as you can see, I can very easily highlight a given item, delete it, and then I can easily add in a new item or component into this bill. You can also define bills with enough flexibility to satisfy a wide variety of customer requirements. Using the Options Bill feature, a single bill can have several options defined that allow it to accommodate various configurations of a finished product. As you can see, up to nine separate option categories can be defined for each bill. Within each category, you can define up to a thousand individual options. So here, if I scroll through, you can see for category one, here is the first option. And select scrolling through, there's the second, and so on. And eventually, I'll move on to the next category and all the different options available for that category. When the sales order module is integrated with bill materials, you can select option bills in sales order entry and invoice data entry. We'll take a look at that in a moment. You can rec record manufacturing products into inventory, and you can relieve component materials using production entry. 
During the entry process, bills are exploded into the component detail lines automatically. So I'll go ahead and select our new bill. I'll tab off, go to lines, it automatically explodes that bill. In this case, only one line item because I deleted one of the components previously. You can add, delete, or change component items and override standard quantities in the warehouse for each component. Distribute the extended quantity to lot or serial numbers. And also enter, enter miscellaneous charges and comments. Build Materials also supports the disassembly of bills that represent parent items that are already produced or purchased. You can also reverse previously posted production entries. As mentioned earlier, when sales orders integrate with Build Materials, the bills generated are readily available as a standard item for order. In this example, I'll select the desktop bill that we viewed earlier. Load up the lookup. Select that bill number. I'll give it an appropriate quantity ordered. And by clicking OK, it automatically prompts me for the different options available to that bill. And of course, there are required and non-required options. I'll go ahead and select a few different options. Click Accept. And the extended price is automatically calculated based on the options that I had selected. So as you can see, the Build Materials module should prove to be a valuable tool for your light manufacturing, advanced kitting, and assembly requirements. Thank you for your interest, and for more information, please contact your Mass 90 or Mass 200 solution provider or a best software sales representative. Thank you.